Welcome to Wild Hunt, a two-library bundle with a refined engine for designing rhythmic layers and cinematic tension. Wild Hunt consists of three fundamental pages, main, rhythm, and effects. These pages provide all essential controls for using the engine. Let's take a quick overview of the areas. The sample control area, filter and offset settings, and the envelope section. Let's begin with the heart of the page, the sample playback window, where you define your sample's start and end points, control tune, volume, and playback speed for each key. The ADESR envelope is global and shapes the overall volume curve of the instrument. Enabling the retrigger function makes the patch play each sample from its start point. The step HD envelope is per sample and works only in step mode. For extra variation, enable random decay. It varies hit length within your range for a more human feel. Each hit is split into round robin slices, giving you detailed control over playback. By default, each step triggers a single slice. Switching to doubling makes the engine play two slices simultaneously, while tripling adds three slices at once. You'll find precise controls here. Now let's control how the engine chooses slices, using the playback order settings. You'll find a dropdown with multiple modes. All tonal instruments in Wild Hunt play samples that remain in the same tonal center. But to play your instrument chromatically, pick your preferred sample in the patch and enable stretch mode. Now you can perform across the keyboard in full chromatic range. On the lower left side, offset shifts the start time, positive delays the transient, and negative cuts into the pre-attack. The filter lets you cut either high or low frequencies of the samples. In constant mode, it works as a fixed filter. In velocity mode, the filter reacts dynamically to velocity values.
Wild Hunt allows up to 7 user samples per patch, or up to 47 if you're using the user sample import patch. There are two modes to choose from. Add New lets you add samples one after another into the patch and Replace overwrites the sample assigned to the selected key. While saving all patch changes, let's try replacing some samples in context.